just feels like total like bait and switch. We've been loyal Amazon customers for I don't even know how long. But the problem is, did they give notice? Did they get consent? Was there any agreement in place? Amazon Prime getting sued, and this is on its way to being a class action lawsuit. And I gotta be honest, I have a personal opinion about this. That Orca and I, the other day, we are watching a show, we're browsing, we're doing the thing, we're on the Amazon Prime platform, and all of a sudden, this little notice pops up, and it says, hey, just letting you know, if you want to experience the ad-free watching experience, you need to pay $2.99, per month moving forward. And we stopped at that point. We had this whole conversation. I Outrageous. go, you know, from a contractual standpoint, we already have a subscription. All of a sudden they're now assessing a new fee. It's only $3, not that big of a deal. And in fact, I think even the plan that we have right now is just part of the Amazon package. So it's, you know, it's a little bump that we have. So no big deal. We can pay, we can pay three bucks. So we agreed. We're like, fine. But we had a conversation about this because I go, you know, you sign a contract and it assumes you're getting the ad free experience. That's what we thought. That's what we actually received. And all of a sudden it goes, well, we're now going to downgrade you for the same amount. Breach of contract, right? So we had that conversation. I didn't decide to sue Amazon Prime, but someone else did. This is just outrageous. We have subscription services to just about everything that there's subscription. I actually think I'm getting charged twice for Peacock. I need to look into that. But you know, going to Amazon, trying to get a movie, didn't have the one that I wanted, settled on another movie, and then this thing came up. Now I have TV services like Pluto TV, which come as free TV that comes with commercials because I like watching old school TV shows and so and music videos. And so I don't mind having commercials in that. But I'm not going to, you know, for things that are already yesterday was included would have been a free to watch. And now all of a sudden I'm paying extra. I thought it was outrageous. It just feels like total like bait and switch. We've been loyal Amazon customers for I don't even know how long. You know, I love Amazon Prime. I love getting my stuff, you know, same day. <laughs> so, so, you know, some people who are not fine with this, but are otherwise not super up in arms, they're like, look, compared to other platforms where you have to pay to not get the ads, I mean, three bucks is way less than everybody else. So we're not going to be super mad about it. But you're damn right we're mad about it. <laughs> and we're going to talk about this lawsuit. We are in federal court. You know we're in federal court because it says United States District Court in the Western District of Washington. So the individual is Welbert Napoleon individually on, on behalf of all the other people in the class that he's trying to certify versus Amazon.com Incorporated. All right. So here's a nice big overview of all the things. But the intro gives a pretty good overview here, which is introduction. Amazon.com sells a subscription service called Prime. For over a decade, it included ad-free streaming for movies, TV shows. For years, people purchased and renewed their Amazon Prime subscriptions, believing they would re you know, be receiving ad-free streaming. For the last Max. month, Amazon changed the deal. To stream movies and TV shows without ads, Amazon customers now have to pay $2.99 per month. This is true even for people who purchase the yearly ad-free subscription and who are now midway through the subscription. This is not fair because no. these subscribers already paid for the ad-free version. These subscribers should not have to pay $2.99 per month for something that they already paid for. And that was the comment that I made to that Orco when, yeah. when the notification popped up and I go, you know, as a business thing, I get this because there are a hundred million subscribers on the Amazon platform and obviously three bucks across a whole lot of people. It's a whole lot of money and this is in perpetuity. For anyone who just does not want to deal with the ads, which is I'm sure a lot of us, this is a, you know, a fantastic business move. But the problem is, did they give notice? Did they get consent? Was there any agreement in place? And what I'm curious, if Amazon Prime is going to do this, and I was trying to find it in the terms of service on their website, is if they have in their terms that they can change and add fees when reasonably necessary, that would be pretty much the only defense yeah. that they had. Yeah. I didn't find it. I didn't find it, but it was just like insane but, going through it. So. But I will say that, you know, the way that they pulled it up and not just being when you're um, when it's time to renew, they, they go, Hey, just so you know, when you have to renew now, you're going to have to pay an additional blah, blah, blah. I would be kind of, I would be totally way more fine with it, but I kind of just felt like I was being held up. It's like, do I want to, I had my whole evening around planning, watching this, the first movie that I didn't found. So I picked one and I was totally, I was settled in. And now I found out that it was going to be disrupted unless, so I felt like I was being held for Rams, you know, held up for it. Like I, I did not like it. And so 
you know, Amazon definitely, as far as that goes, has left me with a bad feeling. And I don't think they want that. I'm not, we're obviously not alone. Right. So as a good business practice, eh, that, but that's, you know, a, a part of what this is. So what are they seeking? You ask. Mr. Plaintiff is seeking $5 million in exclusive interest and costs. And he wants to certify a class. So let me just give you a little bit of this. So he goes, he points back to this, you know, ad from 2011, right? So Amazon Prime is, you know, you'll get unlimited commercial free instant streaming of more than 5,000 movies, TV shows at no additional cost. And then he goes, mm -hmm. then between 2011, 2023, Amazon continued to offer quote, commercial free access to Prime Video and consumers continue to subscribe to Amazon Prime expecting to receive commercial free access to movies and TV shows. And then lo and behold, in 2024, here's the $3 every month. Yep. And, you know, this isn't fair. Now, how is it harmed? It just is that, you know, we had a contract. That's the biggest claim here. But there's unfair competition, right? You misled consumers. And so there are federal claims, which is why this is a federal lawsuit. But there's also state law claims, which are incorporated. Feels so like then, bait and switch. Yeah, saying it was, in fact, a bait and switch. So... So to the certification of the class, this is where it says, and let me make this bigger. Sorry, guys. There. Now it's ginormous and we can all see. <laughs> Amazon violates consumer protection laws, unlawful, unfair, fraudulent business practices. You know, Amazon made misrepresentation. Amazon breached the contract as well as warranties to the plaintiff. There's no adequate, adequate remedy at law. So therefore, your honor. We need you to stop these deceptive practices. And then this is the class certification. So it says, when we are trying to certify a class, we have to we have to prove to the court that there are enough people involved in this. And so this is basically the argument that the plaintiff is making, which is we are a nationwide class. So it's all the people who had subscriptions on Amazon Prime prior to December 28th, 2023. And then also there's a California subclass which would fall into the applicable statutes for California. And then as far as what we need is numerosity, okay? Numerosity meaning there has to be a lot of people. A court is not going to certify a class right. unless there's a lot of people. So they go, there are 160 million Amazon Prime subscribers in the United States. All right, there's a lot. And Where do then I sign class, up? Yeah, class members can be identified through defendants' record sales, public notice, predominance of common questions. So is there a common question? Is this the same thing? And this is what we do when we have these, these cases where we have, you know, a fraudster who was raising money for a film or, you know, record label or something like that. And he got a bunch of people to give them the money and they took the money and then he ran off. And so even though they all have separate claims against the same person, we combine them. It doesn't mean that they become a class, but that's how we join a bunch of people to a case for just judicial efficiency. All right. So whether they get the class or he gets the class certification or not, we'll see. But you know, obviously, are they gonna? Are we gonna start seeing like you know um, commercials during Judge Judy? You're know, speaking of commercials, commercials during Judge Judy. We go. Have you? Did you get feel upset about the Amazon Prime hype? Recruit, go to this website and sign up to be a part of the class action lawsuit that's going on. You know how they? You know, so they can just get everybody involved. Come, go here, and we'll, we'll get you involved in it. Sign up for it. Yeah, I mean, look, you know, to, to, to Michael's point, he was talking about how, you know, they kept raising prices. So, you know, customers are going to jump ship whenever there are new fees. You know, you get more money, but you lose some customers. And then this case, you know, is this one guy really speaking on behalf of 160 million people right now? I bet. He's, and guys, I really want to hear two, from I'll you. That. <laughs> I want to hear from you, regardless of whether you're, whether you're with Amazon Prime right now or not. This is applicable to any subscription Everybody service that you are on. What is your opinion? Drop your comment down below. I mean, I I, I, I got to be honest. I'm kind of I'm kind of rolling over here on the. I don't think so. I, I think they just rolled it out wrong. So if they you know gave like a free month subscription to everybody you know that's on Amazon Prime to make up for some kind of difference, or if you know they're reimbursing the people that paid and just like saying that now we're going to charge you as soon as your subscription subscription is going to be renewed, you're aware of this is coming that's how it should have been taken care of you you can't bait and switch me in the middle of it you sold me on something yesterday we'll see what amazon comes back with but i think that if they are going to make any kind of claim it they might have something in their terms and and conditions for the they users better. and it might you know say something to the effect of we have the right to do this but just because it says that in their terms if applicable it doesn't make it legally enforceable so we'll keep you posted don't forget to subscribe